wow, the new update isn't even out yet and he's already making videos about what's coming next. Well, the Grid AI update is delayed, so we'll have to wait until next year to get it. So in the meantime, let's look at everything we currently know about the future updates coming to Space Engineers. However, before we can do that, we need to go back to where all this began. In the distant year of 2022, we received the Warfare 2 update, which marked a large change in the development of Space Engineers. This update was much larger than any update we'd received post-release for Space Engineers, and it was also, at that point, the longest time between updates for Space Engineers, taking 220 days since the last update to be released. Now, that update has since been beaten by the Grid AI update, which should give you an indication of how complicated that update is going to be, and it showed that a lot more effort had been put into this update, and that paid off, as this update was the most popular update since the release of Space Engineers, netting in 17,000 concurrent players on Steam on the weekend it came out. Now, as you're probably aware, Warfare 2 added a bunch of new weapons, such as the railgun, artillery, assault cannons, etc., and completely changed that landscape, although the Gatling gun is still the best. And it also added the custom turret controller, which allowed you to build your own custom turret using rotors and hinges, and they also overhauled how the combat system worked, adding a new targeting system where you could target a ship and then all your weapons would focus on that ship, rather than before, where your turrets would just target everything in the vicinity. Like I said, this is one of the largest updates to Space Engineers. However, with new weapons comes the need for something to shoot at. This is where the future update Grid AI comes in. Now, the reason I wanted to cover Warfare 2 first is that Warfare 2 seems to be the beginning of a larger update roadmap to Space Engineers, with Grid AI being the second part. Now, we'll cover more about this roadmap later on, but first, let's look at what Grid AI does. Now, the Grid AI update is Keen Software House's first in depth look into AI in Space Engineers, and with that becomes a massive overhaul to what AI can do within Space Engineers. Now, we don't know the full details of this update yet, as it hasn't come out, but we have seen quite a lot of what is going to be added in this update. Now, this update seems to be split into two parts. The main part is the Grid AI part of the update, which is a full reworked AI. And what this entails is a series of blocks that control AI functions, and that you place them on your grids, and this gives them AI. For example, one of the blocks is called AI Move-Flight, which controls the flight of a drone. And we've also seen a block that controls objectives. You'll set a target with it, and if it's got a flight AI, it will fly over to that target. We've also seen two variants of the combat AI. And with this, you can build combat drones and choose the tactics they use. And like I said, we haven't seen everything, but we know there's at least eight AI blocks that are going to be added in this update. So potentially there's lots of different things this AI can do as well. And also, we've only seen friendly uses of the AI, so we don't know if there'll be hostile ships that also use this AI against us. There's also a new block called the event controller, which handles automation of tasks. So you can say, if this, then that. For example, if hydrogen tank is full, turn off hydrogen engine and stuff like that. And this is a block I'm personally more excited for than the AI, as the ability to do simple if this, then that functions is going to be very useful for automating lots of simple tasks. Now, one of the main purposes of this update is to bring AI and automation to console players who can't use scripts and mods, but this is also a massive improvement for AI accessibility for PC as well. Whilst there are options currently for AI and automation in Space Engineers on PC, none of them are especially simple or quick to set up. And from first impressions of both Grid AI and the event controller, it looks very simple and quick to use. Now, something that they have stressed is this is their first look into AI, which probably means we're getting more AI things in the future. And it seems very likely we will, based on what we know about the next update after Grid AI. Now, the exploration slash encounters update is something that we only know in name and we haven't heard anything about. But I think from this, we can probably gather what it's going to be. Now, it's been described as both an exploration and an encounters update, but more recently as encounters, so I'd imagine it's going to focus on the latter. Now, encounters and explorations are two of the biggest things the game currently needs, as whilst both of them do exist in the base game, they're very rare and you very rarely see them. We were recently showed a graph on social media that showed the most popular mod requirements for other mods. And this big bubble in the middle is a mod called MES, Modular Encounter Systems, which is a mod that basically adds a framework for exploration and encounters to the game. So it's very clear this is something that lots of players want. Now with this, as I said with the roadmap earlier, it makes sense that they improve the AI first before they add the improved encounters and exploration things. As with better AI, they'll be able to make these encounters even better. And once again, MES is only available on PC, so this is something that console players will also benefit from. So ships, wrecks and bases are obviously the main thing this update will probably add. However, as we've seen with the previous two updates, they've also come with massive overhauls to base game systems, with Warfare 2 overhauling the combat of the game and Grid AI overhauling the AI of the game. It's likely this update will also include an overhaul to something exploration or encounter related. The most obvious thing in my head is the way that signals and GPS work, as currently it's a little bit of a clunky system. 
For starters, you can't reorder GPS, and it's very difficult to tell in the menu which GPS is which, as it's just a big list of text in front of you, especially if you set lots of GPSs to mark where ores are and stuff. Even something as simple as having folders in the GPS menu to sort stuff would be great. This is actually one of my biggest criticisms of the MES mod, is that it just fills your entire screen with GPSs and signals everywhere. You have these thousands of these markers on your screen, so I just turn them off. But we definitely need a better way of indicating where an encounter or an exploration thing is, Maybe something like Radar or something could be added to the game? I don't know, I'm just spitballing ideas, but definitely this is a system that needs a rework if they're going to add lots of encounters to the game. As I mentioned previously, they said that Grid AI was their first look into AI, and I imagine if they were going to add more AI features it would be in this update. For example, let's say there's no way to command fleets in Grid AI, however in this encounters update they had a ship that adds fighters that fly around it, they'd need an AI implementation for the fighters to work with the carrier. This could be an area where they add more AI functions to this update. And I think one of the most important things about this update, the hardest part of it, the AI is already done. So hopefully this update won't take as long as Grid AI has, but we'll have to wait and see. Before we cover the other big update we've been told is coming to the game, I wanted to go over Most Wanted, which is an update that came out between Warfare 2 and the future Grid AI update. Now, Most Wanted was an update that added lots of things the community had asked for to the game that didn't really fit into their own update. It was mostly cosmetic blocks, however there were a couple of functional blocks like the conveyor converter and the 1x1 one one rotor for small grids. But these were all things the community had been asking for for a long time and they finally got added in this update and there's no reason we couldn't get another one of these updates. Especially as this seems more like the older updates that they used to do for Space Engineers, where they used to add a series of cosmetic things each update, and these only took a couple of months to come out, so maybe getting one of these between this update and the next update is something that's possible. We'll have to wait and see. So, if you were to get another Most Wanted update, let me know the blocks you would most like to get added in this update. And speaking of things that are most wanted, if you most want to see more videos like this, that was a terrible transition, I'm sorry, like this video and subscribe to this channel. Endgame, Survival and Progression are three things the next update has been called at some point. However, it was most recently called the Survival Update and it has been called the Survival Update a number of times. So it looks like this update is going to be one that focuses on overhauling the survival mode of the game. I've mentioned previously in a couple of videos that progression is a big problem in Space Engineers, but it looks like this update will address this. Most games are goal orientated, giving you one goal to achieve after the other, where in Minecraft you mine ores to get better materials and then you use those materials to fight bosses and stuff. Currently the only goal in SC Survival is to build a ship to build a bigger ship. You build your mining ship to mine ore and then you build a bigger mining ship to mine bigger ores and then you fly to space. And then in space you build a mining ship to build ores to build a bigger ship. But there's no real reason to build the bigger ship because there's no obstacles to overcome. There's no bosses, there's no encounters, there's no dangerous environments for you to go to. It's just space and other planets. And there's no real reason to visit the other planets as there's nothing you can do there that you can't do in space or on the planet you started on. So I'd imagine the aim of this update will be to overcome these issues giving you a goal or goals to reach. Now, in what form these goals will take, we currently don't know anything about, but I'm sure one could speculate in a future video about this. This is everything they've teased for the current iteration of Space Engineers, but this isn't everything we know about the future of the franchise. We know that Keen is currently working on a brand new engine, which looks to fix a lot of the limitations of the current game, but I think we need to save that for a future video, so subscribe if you'd like to see that. And furthermore, let me know which of these updates you're most excited for and any other features you'd like to get added to Space Engineers.